writers. Welcome to writing workshop today. I'm so excited you're here because I have something that I have to share with you. So last night I was working in my writing notebook and I was just really struggling. I don't know if you've ever had times like that where you're just really struggling, but like I couldn't think of anything to write, like anything at all. And so I was telling my husband, Aaron, that like, I don't even know what to write about. And he's like, what do you mean you don't know how, what to write about? You have so many things in your life that you could be writing about. And I was, I, I just said, I don't even know what you mean. Um, like, my life's kind of boring. And so I couldn't even think of anything to write about. And then he reminded me of a couple of things. And I want to teach you guys that today. Like, I thought, wow. I think my students could really benefit from this. And so I'm bringing that for you today because I think if you're stuck in an idea, this is going to be the thing that's going to help you. Okay. So let's pull out my dot camera. All right, guys. All right. So today what I want to teach you is if you get stuck when you're writing, a way that you could generate ideas is think about the important people in your life or think about the important places that you've gone or think about some important things and you know what let me share with you how i did that so what i did was i pulled out my writer's notebook and i thought hmm important people places and things and i started generating fast and furiously in my notebook. Important people. So I'm just going to make like a little, here's people. See that? Yay. And I started just listing out all the important people in my life. So my husband, Aaron, my family, and Logan, and Alex, and Angela, and Demi, and my friend Beth, and my friend Susie, and my friend Stephanie, and I thought, wow, I do have a lot of things, people I could write about, right? And then I started thinking about, all right, well, let's think about important places. So some important places in my life. Well, right now, what's been really important to me is Forest Park. I spend a lot of time in the park. Another important place to, for me is at school. And somewhere else that's really important for me is at home. I really love being at home. I find, too, that I love going to the lake and to the ocean. Um, it's really relaxing for me to go there. And then when I think about important things, hmm, it's kind of tricky. Books. Books are really important to me. I spend a lot of time reading books. You guys know that though, right? You hear about them all the time. Um, my coffee pot, very important to me. Very important to me. If I don't have my coffee, everyone pays, right? Um, I also think like, sadly, my computer, I spend a lot of time on my computer in a good way too. So did you guys see what I just did? I got to thinking like, okay, I'm kind of stuck. And so I thought for a second about important people, places, and things. And I just started generating a list of things that I could, people, places, or things that I could write about. So what I'm going to do next is this. I'm going to choose one thing, and I'm just going to try to generate a lot of ideas just around that one thing. And I think today I'm going to choose Forest Park. And so I'm just doing this in my notebook here, and I'm just going to find a little spot here. You can flip the page, whatever you would like. And I want to tell you why Forest Park is important to me. I meet a lot of people in Forest Park, like a lot of people that are the same or different as me. And we have a lot of different um, interests. And so I just love meeting people. I see lots of dogs, and you guys know how much I love dogs. You hear about my dog, Millie, all the time. And then I take runs, and I take long walks in Forest Park, and I listen to music, and I listen to books. 
And so what I want you guys to do is see what I just did. I thought about an idea. Do you, did you see how I did that? So like I thought about a person, a place, or a thing, and then I generated some people, places, or things that I could do. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna just pick one that I could write long about. And I generated some things really quickly under that one thing that I could write about. Now, what I want you to do is open up your notebook to your next page, grab your pen with your writing partner, sit together really quick. And I want you to think of a couple of people, important people, places or things that you could write about. All right, I'm gonna give you a few seconds and I'm gonna be listening to you guys about a minute or two. All right, so go. Teachers, right now what I'm doing is I'm allowing the students to start generating their ideas. So right now I'm not teaching, okay? I'm teaching you the teacher, not the student. Um, I'm, and I'm going to be listening in to their ideas that they're generating, important people, important places, important things. Something that I could do as the teacher as I'm listening in is I could just kind of repeat a little bit so other students could hear like, oh, I heard that Rohan is writing about his chess match. Um, I heard that Susie is writing about her grandparents, she's thinking about her grandparents and, and visiting them. So you're just kind of voicing over just a little bit, some things that you're hearing, and that's going to help your other kids who are maybe stuck, like, oh, I could do that. Oh, I could do that. And so that's kind of like right now, helping them think about a plan that they can do when they go on to their independent time. So what I just did is I talked to you, I set my timer one minute tops for that time. Typically in a mini lesson, you might be able to get in two minutes or so where you're listening. So I set my timer, make sure that I stay on topic. Now I'm gonna go back into teaching. Writers, oh my goodness, I heard all kinds of ideas that you were putting in your notebook. I can't believe it. I can't wait to hear what you're gonna write about. I heard that Susie's going to write about her grandparents and some of the things that she does at their farm and all of the wonderful um, experiences and memories that she has there. And I heard Rohan's going to write about chess and chess matches that he has and how important that is. And then, you know what else I heard? I heard that Michael was going to write all about his family trip to the ocean. And so you guys have lots and lots of things that you're gonna be able to write about. And so writers, what I wanna remind you today and every day, you can be the kind of writer who writes about important people, important places, and important things. So off you go.